we found out that AYE was going to be having an ag mechanics show and my boys wanted to build something that they felt like would be a contender for a grand champion project and uh, we talked about it and discussed that a 20 foot trailer uh, would be pretty impressive. I got to see these boys as craftsmen and they got to understand the percentage and ratio of where the axles go in the trailer, how to wire up a trailer from start to finish, the importance of making sure that every little detail is taken care of so that when it's finished you have a, a very you know high quality project. Learning from this project itself, uh, for instance percentages on our axles on where they need to be set, how far back on your trailer wire speed and heat temp on your welder for different thicknesses of metal. Our ag teacher did a really good job at providing that for us and helping us along the way with this trailer. We had the axles actually at the shop and they're rated for 6,000 pounds a piece for a total of 12,000 pounds there on the trailer. Quarter inch steel for the frame, two by three angle iron, slipper hangers for the leaf springs, 7,000 pound jack on the front, 12,500 pound uh, two and five sixteenths ball uh, coupler to pull it. It's pretty heavy built. We, we, we decided to go with a, a high gloss implement paint, IH red. And uh, of course we got a bunch of lights down the side of this thing and it looks good lit up at night. I feel like us with this experience building the trailer help us a little bit more in the future if we build more trailers uh, for us, ourselves, or others. It's a good overall experiment to learn from and I think it could be productive in the future for us. Foremost thing about building a quality trailer is getting your axles squared up with your tongue. If you don't get that thing squared up, then it won't pull right going down the highway. You've got to make sure your heat and your wire speed are set up right on your welder to make sure you're getting good penetration on your welds. Because if somebody puts a tractor on this thing and they didn't get no good penetration on their welds, who knows what would happen. So we're, we're glad they know how to weld properly and to get good penetration on their beads. Myself and two other my friends, uh, Braxton Barnett and Sam Ligon, we're all three seniors at Rosebud High School and we all kind of contributed and all of us staying after school helping one another finally got this trailer knocked out. I'm excited about the Ag Mechanics Project show and I'm excited to see it coming to Arkansas and I just think it's just going to get better and better every year and the competition is going to get stouter and stouter every year.